Hello ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm going to be comparing original manganese blue and modern manganese blue from the same freaking company. This was discontinued in about the 1970s and as far as my research tells me, it was because it just became too toxic to produce. But I managed to get some thanks to a local thrift sale. Um, this is the modern equivalent, manganese blue who, you, however that it's pronounced, I don't care, I don't know. And it has already leaked out of the bottle, which is not a great sign of quality, but I guess that's what you get with modern equivalents from Grumbatcher? I don't know. Is it Grumbatcher or Grumbacker? I also don't know, and I also don't care. But we are going to be comparing these two. This is still pliable somehow. This was discontinued in the 1970s roundabout, but it's still rather soft. 50-ish years old, and I don't know what to tell you guys. It's a little stiff. It has definitely dried. It takes a bit more effort to get out of the bottle. Come on, you can do it. It still had its seal when I opened it. It was still brand, brand new, never used. Oh boy. I hope the bottle doesn't tear when I'm doing this. Should have done this before I started recording, but here we go. You see, it, it does come out. It just takes a little bit of effort. Some of it has very clearly dried out for all those 50 years, but this is a... Uh, okay. Thank you, Grumbatcher, for your... Well, at least... It, yeah. Okay. <laughs> that is not a great sign of quality, but here we are. It is leaking as we talk. Moving this aside, it should not be that liquidy. That is not how oil paint should be functioning. And my phone is casting shadows on things. This is standard. Now I'm going to attempt to get some out, more out so we can mix it with some white. Come on, you can do. Good enough. Get some titanium white out. I got it for free with a thing. Put some more over here for that one. Toss it back in the tube. Okay. Manganese blue was sought after for a while because it supposedly it was great for water and for air, for sky. And it just had this tint that was incomparable to every other color. Like all the other blues just couldn't come close. So that's why they still make the manganese blue. Uh, who or you, however you pronounce it. Old Holland, uh, oil paint is not supposed to be doing that. Old Holland still has a manganese blue deep. And, but I have no experience with that. Let's see how close this is. It is very close. It is, it's just the quality of the modern is so liquidy and it's not supposed to do that. I don't know if that's normal or not, but as you can see, it is extremely close, but just so liquidy. Original dries matte, modern dries glossy. I don't know why. If anyone who actually is watching this video, although I doubt anyone is, that knows why that happens with age, because the antique ivory black also dries matte and not glossy. And now I'm going to do a comparison against standard ultramarine blue. The good old standard, uh, which is also liquidy. Who did this one? Mike, Michael Harding, okay. But this is a standard ultramarine blue, which is darker, but like the gold standard kind of thing. Like when you're doing anything, most people are using ultramarine blue. Every painting probably has at some ultramarine blue in it, because everyone uses ultramarine blue. A little bit of white. A little bit more white, trying not to mix the colors. 
It's like good enough. You get the idea. Definitely a big difference between manganese and ultramarine. But I have some king's blue. I should probably be comparing it with that, but it's underneath all the other things. I also have Williamsburg Severus Blue. My camera just shook. That's not nice. But that's way different. Right out of the bottle, that is way different. Much lighter tone. Gotta wipe off the... Yeah. Here we go. A little bit of that. But Severus is kind of close to manganese. If if you're if you squint. More white. That was an old Holland white. What was that? Williamsburg white, nevertheless. It's all titanium white. Come on. Come on, get out of there. Hmm. Severus is pretty close to manganese when you thin it down. Let's get some more white on that thing. See if it lighten it up even more. See what happens. Yeah, yeah. Severus is pretty close to manganese. If you kind of squint, it makes a good substitute. Manganese blue who or you from modern Grumbatcher is watery and leaks and doomed. Uh -huh, I got it all over everywhere. Okay, very good. I do not recommend. If you manage to find an original, uh, good luck. There's some on eBay for like $90, and it may not be completely pliable, but you get the original at least. Severus from Williamsburg, or Severs, don't know how to pronounce that, still don't care, makes a suitable substitute. If you want the white, uh, whitened down version for sky and sea and all that so yes i need to find a better place to record these videos but this is what i got right now with my phone casting a shadow and that's all we got thank you for watching subscribe if you wanna i'm not doing this for that have fun